Hello anyone and everyone, I am Echo, and today we are exploring Final Fantasy VII. We are here, just outside Midgar, we just climbed down after doing, um, actually one of the most fun minigames in the Final Fantasy franchise, in my opinion. Um, it's very short, and of course doesn't control super well. I'm talking about the, uh, for anybody who didn't watch last episode maybe, I'm talking about the motorcycle chase minigame, where, uh, most of your party is in a little car and Cloud's riding his motorcycle and you gotta just swing your sword to bat uh, the bad guys away before they can do too much damage to the car. Um, yeah, it doesn't control super well because the movement for the motorcycle is a little finicky and everything's moving really fast. Um, but despite that, it's actually, in my opinion, probably off the top of my head, it's probably the most fun uh, mini game in the Final Fantasy franchise that I've ever personally played. I still haven't played all of them. I know Triple Triad from Final Fantasy VIII is pretty popular, and I haven't even played Final Fantasy VIII yet, let alone Triple Triad, so I'm not gonna make any comparisons there. I'm only talking about the ones that I've played. You know, I didn't find Blitzball from FF10 very fun, and I don't remember many others. There were some in like Final Fantasy XII had a few mini games, I think, and I don't know, none of them were particularly great. But that one, that one in particular, of uh, racing your little motorcycle and smacking dudes while you're on the highway, it's pretty fun. Um, not because it's particularly engaging or deep gameplay, and not because it's uh, all that you know great control-wise, but just because it's cool controlling cloud riding around on a motorcycle swinging a massive sword. And uh, the scenery is also pretty nice because you go right through the like middle of uh, the city of Midgar, and everything, obviously because of the hardware limitations of the PlayStation One, everything is just uh, like black silhouette in the background, so you don't really make out a ton of details. But you go through some tunnels and stuff like that, and it still gives you a good feeling for uh, the uh, the atmosphere of Midgar, basically. And it's just it's an exciting little moment, and unfortunately, I don't think we ever do anything like that again in the entire game. I, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think Chocobo Racing controls similarly, uh, but it's still, of course, it's not the same thing as, you know, riding a Chocobo and riding a motorcycle and swinging your sword around. Uh, you know, you can't compare the two experiences. But anyway, enough babbling on about that junk. We've just gotten out of Midgar, and now let's talk to our uh, party members about the journey ahead of us. I'm going back to my hometown. I'll go with you as far as that. I guess this is the start of our journey. You hate traveling? It's dangerous. You sure you want to go? You hate traveling? I don't know, but I don't have anywhere else to go, so I guess it doesn't really matter whether I like to travel or not. That's a good way to look at it, I guess. You know what? This is the first time I've ever left Midgar. Really? Are you worried? It's dangerous. You sure you want to go? Are you worried? Are you worried, son? A little. No. Maybe a lot. But I have a bodyguard, right? Ah, yeah. <laughs> Where's he now? I don't know. <laughs> hey, Barrett. We told Eris' mom to go somewhere safe, so Marlene should be safe too. Yeah, she should be. Hmm, I don't know. Yeah, she should be. She said she didn't want to stay in Midgar anymore. Maybe it's for the best. Oh, wait, that, was, that wasn't that was Barrett. That was Eris. Okay, yeah, I didn't want to stay in Midgar and all that, blah, blah, blah. Hey, that's... Oh, oh. Then, let's stay here for a while. Let's go. Let's stay here for a while. Yeah, let's just hang out here and like look at the pretty uh, Sector 6 slums. Yeah, real great. Can we like save here? No? Then why does it even, why does it even like make such a big deal out of whether or not we want to leave this spot if we can't save while we're here? Let's go! Hey, We need a leader for our journey. Of course, that could only be me. You think so? Uh, you can just tell from the fucking way she's tilting her head, and she's like, Ah, you, you really think so, Barrett? You think you're the best to leave? Ah, mm, mm, uh, <sighs> she just comes up, puts her hand on his shoulder. Ah, I think it should be Cloud. Let's all be honest. Ah, shit, alright. Go northeast to a town called Calm. If something happens, we'll meet up there. <laughs> he just sits down. 
Sads, we can't all be strolling around here. It's too dangerous. Let's split into two parties. Alright. Eris. You. Get right there. Right, 13. You. Get right there. And you, um, can you... No, can't change the formation here. Alright. Um, that's good. Because Eris, is the, like I said before, Eris is a good healer. She's got that, uh... Got that, uh, that stuff. The stuff that you do. What do you call it? Her limit break. Her limit break's the big ol' AoE heal, so that's good. You two, screw off somewhere else. We'll see you at calm. Later at calm. Okay. Yep, yep. You have fun. You, you go, you do you. It's gonna be a grand old time, I bet. Saving on the world map. On the world map, access the menu anytime and select save to save your game. Alrighty. Yep. As w Oh, hey. Cool. We got us a big old map by pressing that there Y button. There is the entire freaking planet. So yeah, at this point, um, the game is still sort of linear-ish because there's only so many paths we can go on and we still have to go to, you know, certain specific towns to progress the story. But, uh, ultimately, the game does feel a lot more free at this point once you get to the world map, because you're, you can basically just go at your own pace. Uh, for the rest of the game, there's only really two directions you can ever go, um, except for when you're in, like, Wall Market, I guess. When you're in Wall Market, you're kind of left to your own devices to figure things out, but, um, as far as progressing with the story goes, you, uh, you know, there's, there's the direction towards progression, and there's walking back the way you came, where nothing's gonna happen except you'll find some random battles. So the, the beginning, it's been like seven or eight hours or so, is super linear, and at this point it finally opens up and you're free to go more about your own pace because you're on the world map, you can save anytime you're on the world map, and you're free to move around. There's not a lot of, I don't think, if I remember correctly, I don't think there's a lot of different, like, side optional places to go, but nonetheless, you're given the freedom to wander around and basically do whatever the heck you want, so, yeah, it just feels a lot nicer, basically, is what I'm trying to say, and I believe up here, yeah, over here should be the, the town of Calm. That's also pretty pretty looking. Obviously, the graphics are awful, because the game was released in 1997, um, but, you know, just the design of the, uh, the design of the world map, it's pretty, I think, says I, and, uh, if you disagree, shut up. Huh, showed you, didn't I? Hmm, mm-hmm, yeah, yeah, eh, but yeah. Um, at this point, this is kind of basically how linear the early Final Fantasies are, like 1 through 6, where those games basically start you off in a town. Sometimes they start you off in a dungeon, and they'll be pretty linear for the remainder of that dungeon. But then, like, in almost every single one of them, to my knowledge, uh, I could be wrong, it's been a while since i played any of them, and I haven't even played all of them. I haven't played 5 yet. Uh, I haven't even touched it. I've touched all the others to some degree. Um... But they all, you know, they start you off in the, in a dungeon or a town or whatever, and as you, you know, leave that town, again, you are put out onto a world map where you can kind of just wander around, and it's mostly linear because there's only a few paths you can go on and you have to go to certain places, but again, it's still, you're free enough to save whenever you want, pretty much, and, uh you know, go around and just grind and fight monsters and stuff. So I believe this is the town of Calm. If I'm not mistaken. It's the closest town to us, so it should be. This must be Calm. I wonder if everyone's there already. Let's hurry over to the inn. Sure, just leave me behind. Let's go, Cloud. Sure. I don't want to, like, talk to anybody or anything. No, let's just go. Aw, oh, come on, listen to me. Got anything interesting to say? What? Why do you say listen to you and then ask me if I have anything interesting to say? Are you schizo? 
Thanks to the Mako Energy, Shinra Inc. develops for us, everything's more convenient now. Sure, easy for you to say, you don't live in Midgar. The famous floating city, Midgar. Just once, I'd love to see it in person. That's funny, everybody who lives there says they want to see anything else. Ha. Huh. I heard President Shinra was killed, and his son Rufus, the new president, was badly hurt. Hey, I bet that's news to you. You're pretty smart. Sure, don't care. Don't give a shit about you. Don't care. If you're going to travel, you best keep an eye on what Shinra's doing. Uh, hey, little kid. My old man was a miner, but he couldn't go to work after monsters started appearing in the mithril mines. Now all he does is sit around getting drunk in the bar. Maybe a little too convenient. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, oh, and I didn't, want, I didn't want to walk in here. I don't know what this place is. Get me out. I want to talk to this dude who disappeared. Great. Just great. You. I hear that the natural resources near the reactors are being sucked dry. We better off... We're better off... Bleh, we're better off with the Mako energy. Okay. You can't really use the Mako energy without the reactors, so that's kind of a... Weird thing to say. <laughs> yawning? Why would I be yawning? I'm sorry. I did wake up pretty early today, I guess. Mr. Cloud, your party is waiting for you on the second floor. Okay. Oh, is that a treasure chest for me to steal? Nope. Okay, fine. I guess not. I guess I was wrong. Cloud, you're late. It took me like two minutes. I just chatted to some dude on the street corner. What are you whining about? Yo, man, you're late. Sorry to keep you waiting. Guess everyone's here now. So let's hear your story. You know, the one about Sephiroth and the crisis of the planet? Let's hear it all. Oh, fine, I guess. I used to want to be like Sephiroth, so I joined Soldier. After working with Sephiroth on several missions, we became friends. You call that a friend? Yeah, well... He was older than me, and hardly ever talked about himself. So I guess you'd call us war buddies. We trusted each other, until one day... One day? <sighs> After the war, it was soldiers' duty to put down any resistance against the Shinra. That was five years ago. I was sixteen. Damn. They enlisted you in the army at... What were you, like, thirteen? Because you'd already been working in Soldier by that time for a bit? Oh, whatever. It sure is raining hard. Hey, how are you doing? I'm alright. I wouldn't know. I've never had motion sickness. Everything okay? What the fuck face is Sephiroth making? He's just holding his arms out and his mouth is agape. Like he's waiting for water to fall down from the sky to, to quench his thirst or something. Hey. Settle down. They gave me some new materia. Can't wait to use it. Just like a kid. You going to brief us about this mission? This isn't a typical mission. Good. Why do you say that? I joined Soldier to be like you. But by the time I made first class, the war was already over. My big hopes of becoming a hero like you ended with the war. That's why I always signed up whenever there's a big mission. Kind of a way to prove myself. Say, how do you feel, Mr. Sephiroth? I thought you wanted a briefing. Our mission is to investigate an old Mako reactor. There have been reports of, a mal of it malfunctioning and producing... Oh, wait. Nah, that's a fucking wrong voice. There have been reports of it malfunctioning and producing brutal creatures. First, we will dispose of those creatures. Then, we'll locate the problem, problem and neutralize it. Brutal creatures? Where? 
the Maker Reactor at Nibelheim. Nibelheim. That's where I'm from. Hmm. Hometown. Sir, s something strange just crashed into the truck. That would be our monster. Oh shit. It's a big old dragon. And he just did over 3,000 damage. I wonder how much Cloud will do. If he's not killed instantly, he's killed instantly. Okay, it's dead. Cool. Alright. Yep, that was, uh, that was quite a fight. Sephiroth's strength is incredible. He is far stronger in reality than any stories you may have heard about him. So, where do you come in? Yeah, you kind of just got knocked out in that story of your own, Cloud. Pretty lame. Me? I was mesmerized by the way Sephiroth fought. Tifa, why you being all quiet like you know something? And then we reached Nibelheim. How does it feel? It's your first time back to your hometown in a long time, right? So how does it feel? I wouldn't know because I don't have a hometown. Um, how about your parents? My mother is Genova. She died right after she gave birth to me. My father... What does it matter? All right, let's go. Psst! You keep wandering around here and you'll get in trouble. Being on watch is so boring. You want to do what we always do? Just sit tight, it's your job, right? You want to do what we always do? Shall we practice? Practice? Oh, you mean practice my pose? Do members of Soldier always have to worry about what others think? How did it go? Was it like this? Good job. I really don't want to be in Soldier. <laughs> oh, you! You remind me of myself when I was your age. <laughs> Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hey, Sephiroth. The Mako energy smells pretty bad here. You can smell the Mako energy? That's kind of weird, dude. Hey, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna argue though. Yo, wait a minute. Isn't that uh the name of Sephiroth's mother? I remember Genova. That's the. Uh, damn headless spook living in the Shinra building. That's right. That's right. Barrett, would you please let us hear what Cloud has to say? You can ask questions later. Tifa, I was only... Okay, Cloud, continue. The childhood friends reunite. I was really surprised with Tifa. The town was quiet. Everyone must be in their houses, afraid to come out because of the monsters. No, maybe they're afraid of us. Dun dun dun. We leave for the reactor at dawn. Make sure you get to sleep early. Okay. Sure. It's still morning. We could probably go right now, I guess. But, alright. All we need is one lookout. See you others get some rest. <laughs> I need some damn rest. Sitting here yawning up a storm. Oh, well. Oh, and... You may visit your family and friends. Oh, thanks for the permission, jerk. Man, I'm so nervous. How come? Look, you never know when a monster's gonna show up, right? Uh-huh. I heard Sephiroth was coming, so I brought my camera. I want a shot of Sephiroth and a monster. Take my picture. Get back in the house. It's dangerous. Take my picture. I don't take pictures of nobodies. Pfft. I'm a soldier, you big doof. Can't you see the outfit? Clearly. 
Clearly. This professional purple uh purple get up with the baggy pants and a single shoulder guard. I, you can't tell him a big deal. Come on. Please. Fun. Shh. I'm gonna go in your house and steal your stuff now. How about that? Welcome! Hey, aren't you... Uh oh Have I been here before? I don't remember. Now you're pissing me off. This don't matter, so get on with it. Mmm. Mmm. Kinda hard to tell a story about people you don't remember, huh? Isn't it, Cloud? Isn't it? Eh, hey, isn't it? Uh, is this, uh... I think this is Tifa's house. So let's avoid that one. Let's go in here. Well, let's, uh, Tifa? Cloud? Did you go in my house? Yeah. I was trying to see if you were there. I thought you might be home. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so never mind. This is Tifa's house. But, uh, actually, I don't think anything bad's gonna happen by us going in here. Uh, in fact, I think there's a kind of funny scene if we examine the right thing, which I think would be over here. Cloud, did you go into my room? Yeah. <laughs> Received orthopedic underwear. <laughs> That's it. That's the thing. There you go. Cloud, it's true. Just kidding, don't get mad. It's true. <laughs> okay, so, um... Orthopedic underwear, I believe. Fuck, I can't actually remember exactly what that is, but it basically it's some type of, like, medical underwear. Uh, I believe you give it to old people who have trouble going to the bathroom or something like that. Um, but yeah, no, just, just kidding, don't get mad. <sighs> Cloud. We're talking about something really important here. No, we're not. We're talking about my childhood. It's not important. It's over now. It's all in the past. All in the past. Oh, well. All right. Anything else to examine around here, maybe? It's actually... If you imagine that, though, it's fucking hilarious to imagine Cloud sitting there and telling them all a story about this fateful event five years ago when he learned what a horrible person Cloud was, and he's like, and at one point... I went into Tifa's house, up into her bedroom, and I found an old lady underpants in her drawers. Like, <laughs> uh, cloud, 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 you jokester. This is my house. It has nothing to do with what happened five years ago. Yo, wait, I want to hear. Me too, it's been a long time, right? Tell us more. You saw your family, right? Don't want to talk about it. <sighs> All right. I don't know if you'd call it a family. My father died when I was still young. That's why my mom lived alone in this house. Yeah, I saw my mom. My mom, she was a vibrant woman. Hadn't changed at all. But a few days later, she died. But when I saw her, she looked fine. Uh... Yes? Cloud? Welcome home, Cloud. Hi, Mom. Come, come, let me take a look at you. While you sit on the stairs like a weirdo. Wait, do you not own any chairs? She doesn't own any chairs. Who doesn't own chairs in their house? You look so handsome. So is this a soldier uniform? Yeah, that's the mom voice. Mom, I... Ugh. My, how you've grown. I'll bet the girls never leave you alone. Not really. <laughs> sure. Sure. I'm worried about you. There are a lot of temptations in the city. I'd feel a lot better if you just settled down with a nice girlfriend. I'm all right. You should have. You should have an older girlfriend, one that'll one that'll take care of you. 
I think that would be best for you. I'm not interested. Are you eating right? I'm alright. The company takes care of me. Is that so? I know you can't cook. I've been worried sick about you. Cloud? You know, Cloud. Isn't that right, Cloud? I'll always be your mother. <laughs> yeah, you will. Let's stop this. So, yeah. Uh, basically, anybody who doesn't kind of get it, the uh, flashes there are basically where he's uh, having trouble remembering everything that happened and or he's skipping over a bit of the story whenever it's not important to tell to the others. So you got one more building here. Anything in... Wait a minute, this is... Damn it, this is Tifa's. We've already been here. It was the bottom one that I mistook for Tifa's house because I forgot what it looks like. This is the one that we needed to go in. Cause this lady's here. Oh, you're with the Shinra. Welcome. Oh, I'm sorry. It's you, Cloud. I didn't recognize you. Shinra? Ugh. Shinra? No, Shinra, you little crapper. Soldier? Salsa? What kind of an idiot are you? Can you speak? Are you going to kill the monsters? Are you going to? Sure, run away before I can answer you. I don't care. I'm gonna go up into your bedroom and smash all your toys. How about that? Sounds like fun. Sounds like fun to me. Hey, okay. Cool. So, let's go back out then. Let's see, where's the... Uh, is there any other buildings we can go in? Nope, just the inn. And that guy's house. And up here, there's... Oh, there's the mansion. There's a dude to talk to. Hmm, you from Shinra? That's right. Jeez, big-headed young kid. But, but, but I'm in Shinra. You're supposed to respect me. You big jerk. This mansion. No, I'll come here later. Ugh. All right. I believe we have to go to the inn and talk to Sephiroth to get things rolling. Let's talk to them first, though. So, what do you need, Cloud? Where's Sephiroth? He's upstairs. What do you need? Give me a room. How's the town? Uh, how is the town? Now, about the town. A lot of monsters have been appearing in the last 12 months. Other than that, there's not much change. Nothing much exciting happens in a little town like this. It was alright when they were rebuilding when they were building the reactor. While they were still building it. But once it was completed, it's been bad. Within a few years, all the trees up on the mountains withered away. I don't know if the reactor was good or bad. I mean, it's easy to say that it was a bad idea now, but what can you do about it? Anyhow, we've got to get rid of the monsters, then we'll be able to relax a little bit. Sure, if you believe that. Alright. Hmm. Is Shinra here to get rid of the monsters? And who are you? I'm Zangan. I travel around the world teaching children martial arts. I have 128 students all over the world. If your students are all over the world, how are you teaching them from here? In this town, a girl named Tifa is my student. Oh, that's pretty cool, I guess. Did you say Tifa? Tifa has a good sense. She'll be a powerful fighter. I don't know, her damage doesn't uh, speak much for that. Maybe she should try wearing some, like, like, friggin' brass knuckles or something, buddy. Because, uh, she doesn't hit that hard. But anyway, um, unfortunately, I'm out of time for now, so I'm going to have to end the episode here. I will see you all next time. I hope you have enjoyed this. And yeah, bye-bye.